All right, so this one says consider um, the graph of the function f of x, which is equal to 10 raised to the x. And that's the graph you see on the screen there, okay? So then the question is, what is the range of negative 2 f of x plus 1? Well, the negative 2 is going to flip this graph upside down. In other words, when I multiply this by negative 2, it's going to flip it upside down and it's just going to make it steeper. So it's going to look like this, but it's going to be really steep, right? Like that, okay? That's just this part. So the plus 1 is going to take that whole thing, though, and shift it up. So when we tack on that plus 1, what it's going to do is it's going to look sort of like this. And it's going to cross through, I think it's going to cross through like negative 2 or something like that. And it's going to be very steep. Okay, so that's kind of what it's going to look like. But we could just graph it and double check. And the, and the question is, what is the range? So I'm going to say from negative infinity to 1. But let's let's go ahead and graph it just to double check. So um, let's clear that out. So then I'm going to say negative 2 times f of x. Now f of x is 10, close parentheses, raised to the x, and then we're going to add 1 to it. Okay. And so, and let me change the, the window on this. Oh, shoot, I got a really big window. This is going to take a second. <laughs> I'm going to change the window. It looks like it goes from negative 6 to positive 6 for both the x and y axis. So we're going to change that um, real quick. So let's do negative 6 to positive 6. And then the same thing for the y axis, negative 6 to positive 6. Now we'll graph it. Yeah. Oh, it still crosses at negative one. Yeah, I guess it would. Okay. I didn't think my math through, but that's okay. Um, so let's graph this. Let me take a screenshot of it and we'll compare it to the original function. And then we'll see how that So this is f of x, or I'm sorry, g of x. This is g of x, which is equal to negative 2 f of x plus 1. And as you can see, when we talk about range, remember that range is the possible y values. So we say to ourselves, well, what's the highest this can be? Well, this is just going to, this has a vertical asymptote not vertical, horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. So the greatest it could be would be 1. Now, what's the lowest this could be? Well, it looks like it goes all the way down here. So remember, on the y-axis, going down uh, is negative infinity, and going up is positive infinity. So it looks like it goes from negative infinity to 1. So then the range, then, is just going to be y goes from negative infinity Oops. So that's one way you could write it, but I think uh, they have it in interval notation. Let me just double check the answer. Yeah. So another way you could write it is that the range goes from negative infinity to 1. So that's the actual. Are the baseball players to the gym, please? Varsity baseball. Also, varsity baseball players need to report to the gym. <laughs> I'm so glad that gets caught in the video. So that's it. That's the range.